everyone and welcome to Maple Leaf ESL. My name is Andrew and thank you for joining me here today. For today's lesson, I want to take a look at some phrasal verbs, specifically expressions with the word pull. Okay, so I've chosen a lot of different phrasal verbs and we're going to look at some examples. So let's see if we can get started. So the first one here says pull for and the definition is to actively support. Okay, this is an expression that can be used in many different situations. So for example, if I'm watching a sports game and my friend says, which team are you pulling for? So this means, which team are you supporting or which team are you cheering for? So I can say, oh, I'm pulling for the blue team, right? So that means I'm supporting or I'm cheering for the blue team, okay? But it doesn't have to be just sports. Imagine there is a vote, right? Like an election. We are going to vote for a new leader or a new president. So I can say I'm pulling for this person to win the election or I'm pulling for him or I'm pulling for her. So again, that just means I'm supporting this person. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the next one. It says here, pull off. And the definition is to do something successfully. Okay, one thing though, if you pull something off, it usually means you did it successfully, but it was a really challenging task, right? It was something difficult, maybe almost impossible to do. Okay, so imagine you want to climb a big mountain and your friends say, gosh, that's going to be really difficult. Do you really think you can pull it off? Right? So again, that means, do you really think you can climb this mountain successfully? Okay, one more example. Let's imagine you have to go to work and you have to leave your apartment or your house in 20 minutes, but you still need to have some food, you still need to take a shower, you have to get dressed. Maybe for the guys, you have to have a shave, you gotta brush your teeth. You've got a lot of stuff to do. So you run around and you do it quickly and you did it successfully. So you pulled it off, right? You got all that stuff finished before you went to work, right? And you were not late for work. So you pulled it off. You did it successfully. Okay. All right. Let's look at the next one. It says here, pull over. And the definition is to move your car off the road. Okay. So this one's pretty simple to pull over means imagine you're driving along the road and you want to stop and get out of the car maybe. So you pull over your car or, or you pull your car over. Okay. If the police were chasing you, they would say, pull over, pull over, right? They would yell that out, please pull over. So that means move your car to the side of the road, right? Stop your car at the side of the road. So that is pull over, right? Okay. Next one, it says here, pull away. And we've got two definitions for this one. So the first one says to begin to move ahead. Okay. All right. Let's imagine I'm in a race, right? I'm running. Okay. I'm in this race and there's many people in the race and we're all running at the same speed. Okay. We're all about equal, but then I start running really fast. Okay. And so everybody now is really far behind me. So I am pulling away from the other people or I'm pulling away from the group. Okay. Same thing. If it was a motorcycle race or a bicycle race or any kind of race, and one car or one bicycle or one person starts going far, far ahead of the other people. So you can say that person or that car or bicycle is pulling away. So they're making a big distance between themselves and the next person. Okay. So that's the first definition. The second definition says to move away or withdraw. Okay. So imagine you are on the train or on the bus. And there's maybe like a, a person who doesn't smell very well. So you might pull away, right? You don't want to be near this person. Okay. Or maybe the person tries to touch you. So you pull away, right? You move your arm away or you move your body away. So that is pulling away. So again, as it says to move away from something or to withdraw, right? Withdraw means to move back from something. Okay. So those are two definitions for pull away. Okay. Next one, 
pull in, and it says here, to arrive somewhere in a vehicle, okay? So usually, it's a car, a bus, or a train, right? Pulls in. So if the train is now arriving into the station, we can say the train is pulling in. Or same thing, the bus is pulling in. Also imagine my friend is coming to my house and he's gonna come in his car. So I'm looking out the window, oh, there's my friend. He's just pulling in now, right? He's just arriving now. Okay, but remember, it has to be in a vehicle. So if the person is walking and you see them arriving, you cannot say they are pulling in. Same thing with an airplane. We're not gonna say with an airplane, the airplane is pulling in, right? Not really, not usually. It's usually gonna be more for like public transportation, like a bus or a train or a subway, and then of course, a car or a taxi, okay? All right, next one, it says pull out, okay? And the first definition says, to leave or depart, okay? You'll notice here, a lot of the pull expressions are related to moving, right? A lot of them with vehicles too, with cars and, and buses and stuff. So, if I say again, if the train is leaving the station, I can say the train is pulling out of the station. Same thing, the bus is pulling out of the station. I could also say it about a car, right? The taxi is pulling out of the taxi stand, or the car is pulling out of the driveway. So again, it just means to leave. Okay, we've got a second definition. It says to abandon, for example, an agreement. Okay, so imagine two companies, they make an agreement, right? So maybe one company says, we will sell your product at our store, and the other company says, we will also sell your product at our store. But then one company, nah, they've changed their mind. They don't want to keep this agreement anymore. So we can say they have pulled out of the agreement. So again, usually you pull out of something, right? So you pull out usually of an agreement, right? Or pull out of a contract, so something like that. Okay, we got two more to go. Next one says pull through, okay? And the definition says to survive a crisis a sickness, etc. Okay, so imagine I have a friend and my friend was in a big car accident. It was a very serious car accident. So I go to the hospital and I see the doctor and I say, doctor, will my friend pull through? So that means, will my friend survive? Will my friend live? And then the doctor says, yes, your friend will pull through. So that means, of course, yes, your friend will live, your friend will survive, right? Okay, and last one, it says here, pull up, down, or out. Okay, this one's a little different. So if we think about pull, we know the definition of pull means to pull something, right? Okay, so in these examples, up, down, and out are just talking about the direction. So if I pull up, imagine there's a vegetable in the garden. If I pull up the vegetable, that just means I'm pulling it in this direction, right? I'm pulling it up. Same thing, pull down. If there's some blinds in my bedroom, I can pull the blinds down. So again, that's just a direction. And same thing with pull out. Pull out can be used for a lot of stuff. So again, I have a jacket in the cupboard, so I might pull out my jacket. Or I've got a sweater in the drawer, so I'm gonna pull out my sweater. So anytime you take something out, you can pull it out of something. So all three of these are just directions. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can erase the board and let's take a look at some written examples using each of these phrasal verbs. Okay, so let's see if we can look at some of these examples. So the first one here says, I'm pulling for the blue team to win the game. So again, that's the same example as I said before. I'm cheering for or I'm supporting the blue team to win the game. Okay, next one. I don't think I can pull off having long hair. Okay, this is a really common way to use that expression, right? If you can't 
pull off having long hair. That means long hair doesn't look good on me, right? Short hair looks good. So I can't pull off having long hair. I cannot successfully have long hair. So same thing, maybe I can't pull off wearing earrings means earrings don't look good on me. I can't successfully do this. Okay, and I included a second example for pull off because it's a little difficult. So we're losing by 10 points and our best player is injured. Do you really think we can pull off a win, right? So do you really think we can successfully win, right? So to pull off a win, right? And remember, it's gonna be difficult to pull something off, right? Our best player is injured, we're losing by 10 points. So it's a difficult situation, a challenging situation. Okay, next one, let's pull over and check a map. So again, let's stop the car at the side of the road and check a map. Okay, next one. The faster runner suddenly began pulling away. So everybody's running together and then the faster runner, he makes some distance between himself and the rest of the, the group, the rest of the runners. So he's pulling away. Okay, next one. When the boy tried to kiss her, she pulled away, right? So he tried to kiss the girl, but oh, no, she doesn't want to be kissed. So she pulled away, right? She moved away. Okay, next one. The train is pulling in. Hurry up, right? So the train is arriving. Hurry up, right? And the next one. The bus pulled out into traffic, right? So again, that just means the bus moved out, right? Because it's departing, it's leaving. The bus moved out into traffic. Okay, next one. Starbucks is pulling out of the deal. So again, Starbucks does not want this agreement. They are ending the agreement, right? They are abandoning the agreement. They're pulling out of the deal. Okay, a couple more here. My grandma is in the hospital and she might not pull through, right? So she might not live, she might not survive. Okay, and a couple more here. Pull down the blinds, it's too bright in here, remember? So pull down the blinds. All right, last one. Would you mind pulling out your phone? I need to make a call. So again, would you mind pulling out your phone, right? So just taking out your phone. Okay, so that is the end of today's lesson. I hope these examples were clear enough to understand. Thanks so much for joining me here at Maple Leaf ESL, and we'll see you again next time.